to set up the auto connection let's go to the menu and then catalog and then under the catalog you can see the auto connection settings auto default settings is also can be found here okay so at the moment let's choose the auto connection settings all right so under this auto connection settings there are uh, some default settings here but of course we can create our own uh, settings if we don't like to to use the default one so all you have to do is to right click and then new rule group so once you have a new rule group you can rename this one let's say uh, I will name this one as YouTube so this one is my uh, rule group now YouTube and then under that uh, it will show you the different condition of the auto connection so the auto connection has uh, uh, six condition beam to beam beam to beam web beam to beam flange beam to beam uh, beam to column web beam to column flange beam splice and column splice okay so uh, we may not use all these condition but um, uh, we can uh, we can start using the conditions, let's say a beam to column flange, okay? So for the beam to column flange, let's start with this um, uh, column to rafter connection. So under here, I can create additional uh, rule set, okay? And then here, I can rename this one or let's let me edit the rule set of this one after you create a new rule set under the beam to column flange edit the rule set and then here you can add the name here let's say uh, uh, column to rafter this is the column to rafter connection and then we can set up the rules here so the rules is uh, uh, the available rule here are uh, by name by depth or by profile by material and so on at this time we're going to use the uh, uh, rules by name so if the primary part name so what is the primary part name the primary part name is this column okay so all I have to do is to move that one to the right side so the first rule is if the primary part name the exact value is then we'll type here column okay and then the uh, secondary one part name we have here secondary one and secondary two because sometimes if the uh, connection is uh, uh, two sides connection so you must have a secondary one and secondary two so at this moment we have only secondary one which is secondary one part name and then the secondary one part name is a raptor so if you don't want to type, just simply click the rafter here and then copy and then paste, paste here. Because it's very important that you have a correct spelling on that one. If not, then it will not work. So I, I will just simply click OK. And there you go. So under the beam to column flange, okay, uh, I have the column to rafter and then here I can now select the connection that I want to use in my uh, beam uh, to column flange so here just simply right click and then select the connection type now I can just simply type here number 40 or type hunch okay this one so now if I apply this one apply and click OK and then so under the component I have this create auto connection and then you can see here YouTube and then I at the moment I, I'm going to use the factory default because I haven't done any auto default settings yet so I'm going to use the factory default so so uh, with this uh, settings select this and then create connection you get it so if I select everything and then create connection so it will create the connection only for the column and rafter because my rule is under this column and rafter only.
So all I have to do now is to continue with my settings for other joints so that uh, when I select everything, it, the, the connection will, uh, uh, will be created on every joint. Okay, so I'll, let me undo and then cancel this one and then go back to my settings. Again, so in my uh, settings, auto connection settings, so I will uh, go back to my YouTube settings here. So earlier, I have this uh, beam to column flange, which is column to rafter. So let's say this time, I, I can still uh, work on this uh, column to uh, beam to column flange, but now I can again create another rule set. And this time, I will uh, change this to column to gear there. Okay, so same rules, primary part name, column, and then prime secondary part name, gear there. Okay, and then click OK. So now, I, I need to choose the connection here. So let's say my connection is a uh, clip angle or one for one. Okay, just double click on that one and then you're going to use the default clip angle here. Apply and OK. So before I move forward, let me just show you how it works. Again, this time, uh, uh, if you notice, I have already the, the setting for the, uh, uh, for the rafter and column and now this one is rafter and beam. So I'm going to select these two, go to my component again. Create connection, then here YouTube, and then create. So as you can see here, the column to uh, the beam to column web doesn't create any connection, but this clip angle is created here. Okay, so again, undo and let me continue on my rule. So that's or how you create the auto connection settings okay so by simply setting some creating some rules again going back to catalog auto connection settings and then youtube so this time i will choose the column to beam to column web and then right click create additional rule set right click edit rule set and then if the primary part name and secondary part name so primary part name is beam uh, is column and then the secondary part name is beam and then here this one will be column to beam okay and then click ok choose connection double click then type here 187 double click on 187 and then apply and ok now, again, I want to try again, select this component, create connection, create connection here, and then you have now this three connection automatically comes out, all right? Actually, if I select everything here, create connection, so automatically the connection will come out there. But the thing is, they have the, the same uh, setup for the connection. Even the size is different, then they have the same number of bolts. So, uh, that case, the auto default will handle that situation. Okay, undo. And then, move on. Okay, beam, this time, it's a beam splice. So, create additional rule set. Edit rule set. If the part name is uh, is Raptor and secondary part name is Raptor, Raptor here, and then here Raptor, and then here Raptor to Raptor. Click OK, and then get the connection. The connection must be uh, Apex. This one, and then apply and OK. So now. Again, select this two Raptor connection, 
create connection so the YouTube and then connection then there you go so you have now this router to router connection so now that I set the auto connection okay so all I have to do is select everything and then create connection all right so here as you can see I have all the connection to each joint and then I don't need to go to each and every joint to add this connection by setting up the auto connection you can uh, get all the uh, connection to the joint of our uh, structure okay so this is how to create or how to set up the auto connection thank you